Hi, I'm Cynthia Mitosian from Mitosian Eye Associates in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. We were very fortunate to be involved in a clinical trial where we looked at the effect of tear osmolarity on preoperative cataract surgery measurements. And what we found out that in patients who had normal tear osmolarity, their visit-to-visit -visit preoperative keratometric and topographic measurements changed very, very little. Whereas in our patients who were hyperosmolar, there were marked variations in their K readings or keratom keratometric readings, as well as their topographic readings. And that variation ranged anywhere from half a diopter to almost four diopters. Consequently, it is critically important to optimize the tear film, get that anterior segment nice and settled, quiet and healthy before you bring the patient back to do the preoperative measurements. Because if your pre-op measurements are unreliable, what's going to happen is your intraocular lens calculations are going to be unreliable. And you as the surgeon may end up with a refractive surprise by optimizing the ocular surface, getting the patient in the normal range of tear osmolarity, then you have more reliable data to plug into your formulas to calculate your IOL powers.